Hi everyone, so today I wanted to show you uh, some of the records I bought in the last couple of weeks. A lot of them are Beatles and Stones, uh, there's a couple of 45s. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We're going to start off with the 45s. And first up, um, I have these both in the same sleeve. Um, we got Mary Hopkins, Those Were the Days. It's on Apple Records. With the B-side, Turn, Turn, Turn. Then we got the Beach Boys, Do It Again. And the B-side is Wake the World. Uh, Do It Again is a really good song. Now, um, these two 45s and a couple of the records I'm going to show you today, a couple of Rolling Stones records, I bought them super cheap because um, Vintage Vinyl, which is one of like New Jersey's premier uh, record stores uh, closed its doors um, at the end of July and it just blew everything out like 70% off. Uh, they didn't really go out of business, they just didn't want to do it anymore. So yeah, so I got a bunch of records, uh, including these two 45s uh, for a really good deal. Okay, next up is this is Strawberry Fields Forever, Penny Lane. Now this is the 2017 remix by Giles Martin. Here's the hype sticker. It's not stuck on the, the record. This is just in the bag. Here's the back. It has this wavy top. And um, yeah, this has the the new remix that he did for the 50th anniversary. Um, I'm pretty sure though that both Strawberry Fields and Forever, Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane were done before the Sgt. Pepper remix because they both appear on the Beatles one, that the one that came out in 2015, which was also remixed by Giles Martin. Um, just so you know, I think out of all of the um, the remixes that J Giles Martin did. Uh, Sgt. Pepper is my favorite one because it kind of takes the best from both the mono and the stereo mix and this does it as well. So I'm really happy to finally have this. Um, I didn't get it when it came out because I didn't act fast enough. Uh, they were like $8. I paid like $25 for this so not too bad. Uh, next up this is another record store day exclusive and this is Instant Karma. And this is from the Ultimate Mixes that were released at the end of last year that were in that Give Me Some Truth box set. This was also another Record Store Day exclusive. I got this for a fairly good price. These also went for like $8, but I think I paid like $12. Um, yeah. Okay, next up are the LPs, full-size records. Uh, first up is Sticky Fingers. This is a Canadian pressing. It has the actual zipper on it. Let me see if I can, you can hear that. Here's the track listing. This is one of the records I bought at Vintage Lionel before they closed. Um, I'm a really big fan of I Got the Blues, System Morphine. Like the B side, I like better than the A side. Um, there's the Ass by Andy Warhol. The Crotch with the Bulge. Okay, put that right there, I guess. Next up, this is the 50th Anniversary Beggar's Banquet. Now, um, this here is a like a slip-on. Um, this is the American cover because here in the United States, we're very prudish. So any sight of like a naked person uh, sends us into a frenzy. So when this came out in 1968, this is the album cover that we got, and it's really lame. Um, it's really plain, but not in a good like wide album kind of way, just in a really plain, lame kind of I, I know they were going for like an actual like banquet invitation but it, it's really stupid but i'm glad it's just a slip cover here is the true album cover and if you look here that's probably why we got that white album cover this is a gatefold this has two records there's the gatefold very cool um, so one of the records is this 12 inch of Sympathy for the Devil um, kind of pointless when you think about it I mean it is a mono so it's a different mix but like this is already on the album 
but still cool to have. It also includes this flexi disc. It's an interview of um, Mick Jagger. This is a Japanese thing. Um, I can't listen to it though because the spindle hole is too small. So it doesn't fit on my record player. So I can't listen to it, but still cool to have. And here's the album on London Records. Wish it was on Decca because that's like, that's the, uh, the UK and the UK kind of goes with this. This would have gone with the, the white album cover. But I guess it does come with the white album cover, so it still does apply. Um, this sounds really good, by the way. I'm really happy with this. And funny thing is I ordered this a couple of days before Charlie Watts died. Uh, rest in peace. And it showed up on the day that he died, which is a little, little weird. I know it's a coincidence, but still kind of weird. All right. Next up, this is another one that I got from Vintage Vinyl. This is December's Children by the Rolling Stones. This is a mono, as indicated right here on London Records. Um, let me take out the record so you can see it. It's like a, like a Ron Burgundy kind of dark red. And here is the sleeve, just a plain white sleeve that's a little moldy here are the songs it has uh, get off my cloud as tears go by i'm moving on those are like my favorite songs on here this is a really good album it's from 1965 so if you, if you haven't heard it uh i really recommend it okay next up is something i've wanted for a while and i finally found it for like a decent price um this is the stereo version of pet sounds now this is the uh the 50th anniversary edition that came out like a few years ago, I guess in 2016. Now this is a different stereo um, remix, I guess, of Pet Sounds. Um, the first time I heard Pet Sounds was like on that 1996 CD. And that is still my favorite stereo, ver still my favorite version of Pet Sounds. Mostly because they got rid of some of the double tracking on the voices, which I'm not a fan of like double tracking in, in general. Also on Wouldn't It Be Nice, it's a strictly Brian vocal as opposed to having Mike in the middle, doing that middle bit. Um, and the less Mike we get, the better. But this is still really cool to have. This sounds really good. Uh, this does have some of the double tracking, like You Still Believe in Me and I Just Wasn't Made For These Times, which isn't on the like 96 stereo mix, which was included in the Pet Sounds 30th anniversary box set. And then that stereo CD that was in that box that was later released as its own CD, which is what I bought um, back in the day. But yeah, really cool to have the LP of Pet Sounds in stereo. But this isn't it. I grabbed the wrong one. This is actually it. This is the mono one. Here it is. So stereo. I did buy it. <laughs> there it is. Stereo. And yeah, this is the 2016. Funny thing is that this is a little smaller. As you can see here, it's a little, let me lift this up, a little smaller, which I found a little, a little weird, but I mean, whatever. Okay, next up are some Beatles records. And um, these are records that I've been wanting for like a really long time. Um, these are some mono mix records. And um, one of my biggest regrets is not buying that 2014 mono box set because now that I think it was for like $1,500, $2,000. And the individual records, the cheapest ones are like at least a hundred bucks. Sometimes with like Sgt. Pepper, I've seen them go for like $300. Magical Mystery Tour is really expensive. Um, so I'm probably never gonna have a full set, but I did buy a couple. Uh, first up, we got the Mono Masters. Now this, this is still kind of easy to find. Uh, I bought this straight off of Amazon for like 55 bucks, which is not bad for a triple record set. And that's what this is, triple record. Um, it opens twice. So here is what you see when you open it the first time. And then when you open it again, you get this. It's a sprawling essay with cool pictures of the Beatles. The second record is tucked away right there. Here is the track listing. This includes true mono mixes of the original songs from 
<clears throat> the Yellow Submarine soundtrack, so Only a Northern Song, All Together Now, Hey Bulldog. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I'm really happy I got it, and I got it for a decent price. Next up, we got Revolver. Now, this is also a 2014. <laughs> I just realized that, like, my camera is focused on the bulge here. So I'm just going to move this so it doesn't distract me. <laughs> uh, this is the 2014 Mono Remaster. Um, I got this for a decent price. It was, like, 100-something bucks. Less than $120. Um, it's in excellent shape. And the cool thing about these mono remasters, on top of them sounding really good, is that they're pretty much exact replicas of the original UK releases. So they have like these foldovers, as you can see here. Um, the only thing they don't include is those Emitex inner sleeves that were in the original releases. These just have like plain white sleeves, but they also include um, all the releases, the monos come with these cards there's the essay and with the love advert on the back so yeah really happy to have this it's in great shape it sounds fantastic um next up we got rubber soul this is also a mono remaster i'm not going to open this because one of those uh sticky ones. I don't feel like dealing with that. Um, <laughs> it has the flap, like the fold backs, like I, like I mentioned in, with the revolver. Um, now out of all the mono albums of the Beatles, rubber soul, in my opinion, sounds the best. Rubber soul is the best in mono. Uh, the stereo one sounds pretty good, but mono is the way to listen to rubber soul. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have this. I paid, I think, a little less than 100 bucks, maybe like $95 without shipping, which is pretty good. These are now going for like 150 bucks, so I did all right. Still really expensive, more than I would have paid for if I just bought the box set when it came out. But what are you going to do? Really happy to have this. And last but not least, I have... The Japanese pressing, one of the Japanese pressings of uh, Let It Be. Don't worry, this is on the plastic sleeve. It's not damaged. And this means that I have pretty much a full set of Japanese records, which I'm pretty stoked about. I'm actually going to open this so you can see the gatefold because it's pretty cool. And I'll show you the lyric sheet as well. As you can see, it also includes the Obi strip. So there's the Obi strip. Not bad. There is the gatefold. And let me get the lyric sheet out so you can see it. Pretty neat. Kind of disappointing that it doesn't have any other pictures besides these four but what are you gonna do that's what it came with anyway um that's pretty much everything i did pre-order the uh let it be like four lp box set so i'm gonna do a video of that when it comes out um i do have the john lennon they re-released the 2018 remixes of imagine um as a white vinyl set I have that on the way. It should be here any day now. That's probably going to be my next video. Um, but yeah, I, I got some more stuff coming out. So keep a lookout. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching.